Hello, this tutorial will go over the auto-coding feature in NVivo, the qualitative data analysis software program. You are able to set up your various data files such as interview transcripts, focus group transcripts, web data, and videos so that NVivo automatically labels the different parts of the transcript based on a variety of factors or characteristics. Autocoding is particularly helpful if you want to compare different codes that are starting to emerge from your data across the different speakers or participants in your files, such as interview data. Another important feature of autocoding is the ability to identify emerging themes in the data by assessing these auto codes and placing them into thematic categories or groups. Auto coding is also able to code the data based on sentiment analysis by categorizing the emotional tone of the files from negative to positive sentiment. Now I will show you what auto coding looks like in real data. So this is a sample project in NVivo. You can see here in the left-hand panel that this project in particular contains different types of files, such as group discussions, interviews, surveys and reports, videos, and web data. So for the purposes of today's tutorial, I will select interview data. And here are all of the interviews available in this grouping. So I will select this first interview. And you will see this top panel, this ribbon here, has many options in terms of how you might begin coding your data. So you'll see a button called Auto Code. So this is where we can start setting up the auto coding process. So once I click that, I am offered a few options in terms of how I would like to auto code the items in this file. One of the first options is that you can ask this feature to identify emerging themes. The second feature or the second option asks if we would like to identify sentiment. So if we click on this, this will analyze the emotional tone in the files and code the sentiment from very positive to very negative. If there are multiple speakers in these interviews, particularly in focus group interviews, this might be helpful to auto code by speaker name to be able to identify what was said by what participant. You might also use the style or the structure of the overall interview to be coded by how it was structured uh, based on paragraph style. You might also wish to use an existing coding pattern and apply it to this interview and to any others. So I will select this first option of identifying themes. I will click on next. This should only take a few seconds, and now you can see that uh, this auto-coding feature was able to pull out some preliminary exploratory themes for us. The suggestion here is that you still should go back through these. Uh, do not rely on the auto-coding auto alone to inform your themes for your project, but this is a good starting point in terms of beginning the coding process. You can see that this feature created identical parent and child codes in a couple of different sections. So good feedback was coded as a parent code as well as a child code. That might not be very helpful, so you would either go through and delete these or you can leave them alone if you are just exploring these emerging themes. Uh, what this feature will do is it will uh, place all of these auto-coded themes in a folder on its own. So you can still conduct your own coding and maybe use your coding to compare this auto-coding pattern. Let me show you what it might look like to auto-code based on sentiment. So we'll go back to our interview here. You can see that you can auto-code the same interview or the same file in, in all of these different ways. So there are no limits in terms of how many times you wish to auto-code. So let's click on Identify Sentiment. 
click on next. And so now it, it, it will ask us if, uh, how finely we want NVivo to code our text passages. So either at the sentence level or at the paragraph. I will keep it as at the sentence level that it is just entirely up to you uh, based on your own preferences or the needs of your research project. So again, this should take a few seconds. And now you can see that it has coded into these four different sentiment categories, very negative, mo moderately negative, moderately positive, and very positive. It also created a visual graph for us. You can see that most of the references were coded as neutral, meaning there was not really any uh, not a negative nor a positive attribute assigned to this particular interview. So here are the two examples of what autocoding looks like in NVivo.